Okay, hello everyone. We're here to continue our lesson with lesson 12, the design for experiment with a single factor. So, we are discussing the complete randomized single factor experiment where we utilize ANOVA. So, nag-ANOVA nag tayo last time. So, we, we have this table and from the table, we have uh, identified that this is the variance and the FO and uh, the p-value from your excel generated data and after that uh, you can uh, further your your analysis after ANOVA by uh, multiple comparison by using your uh, Fisher's LSD or least significant difference so yung least significant difference is calculated using this formula or you can have this one if uh, the sample size are different for each treatment. So, pag pare-pareho uh, over uh, yung to total value or, or per, 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 per line. Okay? Now, for uh, the data that we obtained last time, so, ito yung data natin, di ba? Ito yung mga average per row at different treatment. So, we have uh, a for means and x MSE is 6.5 and your t uh, 0 0.025 20 is equal to 2.08 so calculating the LSD of the sample just uh, utilize the formula we have 3.0 so if we get the combination of uh, this uh, parameter for example this one and ano ba yung wala so ko compare compare lang natin yung yung mga mean value at pag ang difference nila ay greater than 3.7 therefore there's a significant difference between the two data so ito yung uh, different combinations of comparisons natin so ito yung mean nila so yun yun minus nito and this is the difference of the mean. As you can see here, uh, majority are greater than 3.07. So therefore, significant yung difference nila. Except for this value, yung 3 versus 2. Meaning yung 3 versus 2 or yung uh, 15 at saka 10%. Okay, recall lang natin to ah. Yung 10, 10, ayan, 10 and 15% data are significantly uh, we cannot say na may significant difference sila okay so then you can plot this one yung uh, LSD fissure at uh, different PSI as you can see here masyadong malapit yung data ng 10% tsaka 15% so yung difference sila you can say you can say that it, there's, there's no significant difference between okay now Let's proceed with the residual analysis and model checking. So for for residual analysis, you just get the uh, value for each uh, residual, which is uh, the value minus the average per row. So ito yung makukuha nyo. So kada value, yung 7 minus 10, 3.0, 8 minus 10, 0.8, 15 minus 10. Uh, 5.0. So, ayan yung pagkuha ng residual. And next, you will get the the, the C value uh, C value for this uh, randomized. So, please review, review yung lesson 6 sa book or yung 6A natin for, for, for getting the C value for each data. So, makukuha mo yan when you plot them at nakakuha ka ng linearized trend for the data then uh it could uh, state or provide us information that the data are uh, following the normal distribution. Okay? It follows a normal distribution. Then we can plot the residual plot versus the factor level. Ito yung factor. And as you can see here, pag may uh, rectangle na data, meaning uh, uh, may, may, may relationship or it follows a good relationship and plotting the residual the, the average so makikita nyo rin dito yung uh, 
uh, significant difference ng value. Okay? Malina. So, ayan lang yung usual na pag-check ng uh, uh, ng model or ng ano ba analysis. Okay, now. So, fixed versus random factor. In many situations, factor of interest has a large number of possible levels. So, the analyst is interested in drawing conclusion about the entire population of factor level. If the experimenter randomly selects A of this level from the population of factor level, we say that the factor is a random factor. So, you just select. Because the level of the factor actually used in the experimenter chosen randomly, the conclusion reached will be valid for the entire population of factor. So, kaya, pag nagra-randomize tayo ng factor, basically, it will provide as a good uh, uh, unbiased uh, data. We we'll assume that the population of factor level is either infinite size or large enough to become considered infinite. Do notice that this is a very different situation that we encounter in the fixed effect case where the conclusion apply only for the factor level used in the experiment. So, ito yung uh, typical na ANOVA invariant. So, we do the linear statistical model. So, naalala nyo naman yung linear model natin, yung especially for multiple factors. So, we have this expression. And we can represent the variance, yung D ng ating YJ, as uh, the variance uh, squared of uh, this one is for the uh, response or regressor. And this one is the variance of the whole ANOVA. So, this one is the variance component. Okay. okay. Now, how to test the random effect model? Okay in hypothesis testing. So, basically, ito yung ating hypothesis test. If the value, uh, the null hypothesis is that the value of this is equal to zero, and yung uh, theta, uh, theta for the specific uh, parameter na you want to observe, variance pala, while this one is the variance is not equal to zero or greater than zero. So, pareho pa din, we use the SST, SS treatment, and SSE in the calculation. Okay? So, paano kinukuha yung expected value? So, expected value ng MS treatment is just this one. E expected of SS treatment over A minus 1 for this full value. And we can have this one as E of the MSE, which is the variance. Ito yung MSE natin na, na data ay uh, sigma. Okay? So, if uh, a squared is equal to MSE, then we have this one from, from this expression as MS treatment minus MSE over N. So, ito lang yung formula na gagamit. Okay, so sa so textile design, so ito yung another example natin. Uh, in design and analysis experiment, uh, DC Montgomery described a single factor experiment involving the random effect model in which a textile manufacturing company with a project on a large number of looms. The company is interested in loom-to-loom -loom variability and tensile strength. To investigate this variability, a manufacturing engineer select four looms at random and make four strength determination of fabric sample chosen. So, ito yung strength observation at different looms. So, yung high average, then you just did ANOVA. So, Alam nyo na naman kung paano gawin yung ANOVA sa Excel. Hindi ko na siya gagawin. So, we'll have this table. So, single factor ANOVA. So, take note, this is your MSE and this is your MS uh, treatment. Okay? Ito yung SS total, SSE, SS treatment. So, para makuha ito, yung tau squared, ito yung formula, MS treatment minus MSE. So, MS treatment minus MSE divided by N, which is 4 siya. So, ito yung value, 29.73. This is your MS treatment or MS ng loom. Ito ay yung MSE. MSE ng error. So, 6.91. So, we have the 6.91 and, uh, sorry, erase na ito. Uh, yung uh, variance natin is the MSE. Diba? MSE lang yung variant. So, uh, you get the 
the variance for the, the whole or the variance of strength in the manufacturing process is 8.86. So meaning most of the variability in strength in the output product is attributed sa loop majority nung 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 impact hindi siya dun sa variability ng pool meaning may 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 significant factor or mataas ang significant factor ng loop so from this one kung ito yung original data natin in in the process or in the manufacturing plant and we see that there's a process fall out ito yung limit natin yung lower limit to have an acceptable product if we can adjust or identify kung ano yung mga looms or impact dun sa loom uh, processing na, na ginagamit natin then we can further reduce this uh, distribution where the fallout could be minimized okay mas minimize yung fallout okay so i think i'll end here so before we proceed with the randomized complete block